Hello and welcome to Mechanical Y. Here I have a box and this box in is, is in its most stable state on this table. The center of mass of this box is as close as it can get to this surface without changing the shape of the box. This box is in its least energy state. The box isn't moving or swaying and perturbations like pushing it don't cause it to change state. But what if I stand the box up like this? You can see that it isn't moving and it can take some perturbations without changing state, but the center of mass is not as close as it can be to this table. In other words, there is a lower energy state that this box can occupy. So is this box truly stable now? To answer this question, scientists have had to develop more precise terminology. In the least energy state, like this, this box is said to be absolutely stable. But standing like this, this box is said to be in a state called metastable. To get to a lower energy state, the energy of this system must first increase slightly before continuing to decrease. With this box, you can see that if I push it hard enough, it will tip over and enter a lower energy state. But to get there, I had to add energy to the system with the push. And you can see that the center of mass had to raise slightly before falling to a lower position. So why is metastability important to understand? It is important because we must recognize when systems may appear to be stable, but can relatively easily be triggered to move with very little extra energy. It can be used to identify when objects may look safe, but may be caused to fall suddenly and perhaps dangerously with very, very little added energy. Metastability is also an important concept in chemistry. Certain reactions may have appeared to have stopped, but will continue with slight perturbation. Putting systems in a metastable state may be advantageous though. For instance, I may want an object to be triggered at the slight touch of a hat. This can be used in precision switches in electronics or even animal traps in survival situations. Understanding metastability can help avoid certain detrimental situations or can be used to help understand design options for optimizing a particular system's performance. Well, thank you for watching. I hope you found this interesting. If you did, please like and share this video and please subscribe to stay up to date on new content.